The member from Windsor West. Thank you, Speaker. My question is for the Minister of Transportation. On January 18th, a terrible tragedy occurred on Highway 3 in Windsor. A tow truck driver was hit and killed while helping another motorist change a tire. It was daytime, weather conditions were normal, the driver was well trained, and their amber lights were flashing. Speaker, through you, my question to the Minister is, what do drivers need to know when encountering roadside assistance vehicles or any vehicle for that matter on the road in distress so that these types of tragedies can be avoided. Minister of Transportation and Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the uh, member uh, for Windsor West for uh, asking this question, and I certainly share her concerns about this tragedy. We are looking at everything we know so far about the circumstances. There certainly aren't many answers to the question of why this actually happened. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the driver of the vehicle is facing charges. And through that process, we may learn more about what actually transpired in those few seconds. But this is a stark reminder of the care that needs to be taken by every single driver every time they get behind the wheel, because things can happen in an instant when care is not taken. When you see any vehicle in distress on the side of the road, be mindful of the fact that there may be people moving around the outside of that vehicle. That's just common sense. Being alert, cognizant, and considerate of the road users is the best way to keep roads safe for people. Thank, Thank you. you. Supplementary. Thank you, Minister. I spend quite a bit of time on the roads and highways in around Windsor and around here, and I can tell you that there's no substitute in terms of safety for being alert and being aware of what's going on around you at all times. Every day, more than 1,000 tow truck operators take to the roads in Ontario, helping drivers in sometimes very difficult and dangerous conditions. It is a unique industry and certainly one that provides an important service to Ontario drivers. Speaker, can the minister acknowledge that moving forward, he will consider appropriate measures to strengthen this industry whose members are there to help us day and night? Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, once again, I share the member's concerns. Absolutely. Uh, I'm always open to thoughtful ideas on how to strengthen standards in this industry because, as the member noted, it has a significant presence on our roads and highways. I recall the member for Willowdale had a bill before the House last spring, much to that effect, uh, that I was very supportive of. I think it's an important discussion to have, but it's important that the discussion be broad-based, looks at the industry as a whole, and takes into account the inputs of the police, the CAA, and other stakeholders. Ontario consistently has the safest roads in North America. Statistics always show this to be the case. But unfortunately, driver error remains the number one cause of fatal conditions on the roads. The member is right. There is no legislation or regulation that will ever substitute for alert and Answer. defensive driving. This is something for all drivers to remember before heading out onto the road. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you.